Rescue Squad. I hope you're all having an awesome week. I've had a bit of a rough few days because there's a YouTuber out there who's done something really is shitty to me. And yeah, it's going to cause me a little bit of hassle. What's sad, I'm not going to go into details, but what upsets me is I was actually a fan of her videos and, you know, was watching them continuously. And yeah. I'm not going to go into details of what's happened, but you'll find out at a later date, probably a story time when it's resolved. But for now, I'm now on my way to London because I have a hospital appointment at St Mary's Hospital. And we didn't think we were going to stay overnight because I looked at all the travel lodges and premier inns. They're all coming up around £200. These apart, are the budget hotels, aren't they? Yeah, apart from Travel Lodge, which was £155, and that was without breakfast. And if I want to add breakfast on, that would have been about 170, I think. Um, so I didn't think I'll stay over, but I thought, why not have a look on lastminute.com? Because they have these secret hotels. Now all you have to do is go onto the website and type in the area you want a hotel. So mine was Paddington, because it's nearest to the hospital. And it's also 10 minutes away from Oxford Street. So you're going to see some shops in this vlog. Um, and it said top secret hotel, got a swimming pool, 10 minutes away from Oxford Street, four star bus, and it's £126 with um, a breakfast. But the only thing is, you don't know what hotel it is, but if you go through the description and just put in all the details in Google, it was very easy to find, and it was at the Hilton. And yeah, we got that booked, £126, which is, in, which, yeah, which is incredible considering the budget hotels. The cheapest was 170 and the location wasn't the best. So you're going to get a little hotel tour when we get there. I'm not overly keen at the Hilton, but you know, because it's very expensive. I looked at the price list for a can of Coke, it's £3.50. And I like the odd can of Coke, so I'll definitely be going to the Tesco Express to get some food. And I really wanted to try it at Deliveroo, but it seems they don't deliver Nando's. And I, I, I want a cheeky Nando's today. Later when I'm in the hotel room, I want to be a splurging. A splurging the word? Feasting on Nando's. So I'm going to do a little location search for one of those. Hopefully there's one nearby. Um, so I'll see you when I get to London. Are you right, people? Because I'm not. I'm going to get back in the shade. There we go. That's yeah. better. Um, so, me and Holly just sort of waited about 30 minutes to um, you know, get seen by the doctor. And it turns out she was booked into the wrong clinic. <laughs> not even the kind, kind of guy we want to see. So, he looked over Holly's notes and said, yep, yeah, he definitely should have been seen by the other guy. And so, we've come into London for no reason. Seriously, that drive sucked, like big time sucked. But you know, we're still here, so Holly's just talking to her mama. We're gonna go shopping. Maybe see if, uh, not a film, a theater show, that's the one. And I haven't eaten since breakfast, so I am so upset, so angry, and so, but I'm gonna go get me some food. Hello guys, we're now in a McDonald's, which is next to Primark, and thank goodness, because Callum turns into bloody Satan when he's hungry. Here's a little footage of what I took on the tube, sneakily. You happy now? You've got some food? Oh yeah. Hurry up, eat a bit faster. I want to go Primark. I don't know why Woo! The Primark on Tottenham Court Road is the biggest. What's up? Let's shop. This coat is such a lovely colour. That's £25. Trying to sh do it justice on the camera. Really like that. <laughs> it matches one of Bella's, doesn't it? <laughs> mm, <laughs> kind of. Bella's is like Santa Claus red. Yeah. This is a Harry Potter range at Primark. They have these shoe liners. 
They also have, look, Harry Potter slippers. How much are those? Five pound, that's a bargain. And these are like pajama tops. And they have these sweater type things. You got pajama shorts for five pound. Got multi packs of socks. Oh, these are really nice. And they're three pound. Three pound is incredible. And then this different design here. Callum is still eating. Oh, look at them. Limited edition as well. Don't know if I'd want to wear them. But here's the pajama bottoms, which say Hogwarts. They have more Harry Potter stuff than I thought. I'm really not used to these big stores. So this is another multi-pack of socks. And you've got this jumper here. And then moving across, you've got the different type of pajamas. These are Gryffindor ones. As you can see, Harry Potter glasses and lightning bolt. Just move across here. More Hogwarts, like, you know, pajama pants I would call them, but I'm guessing sweatpants. This is another design. It's in that little label, isn't it? Copy of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Mm, a lot of detail to them. There is, yeah. And then this side got more socks. These are really nice ones. And you've got these Slytherin pajamas. So this is the top. These are the bottoms. Another multi-pack of socks. I mean, if you want Harry Potter socks, definitely come to Primark. This is a Gryffindor top. I'm doing well considering I've never watched Harry Potter. And yeah, I'll show you these earlier. Callum's just giving me the heads up. There's more this side. So more pajamas. So these are the bottoms. Yeah, the tops, even more socks. I don't go looking for trouble. Trouble usually finds me. Sounds familiar. Mm. What's that? Oh, that's like, that's like a Hugh Hefner, like pajama thing, isn't it? You know what I mean? Rest in peace. Yeah, oh look, and you can get two pairs of Gryffindor knickers for a fiver. It wasn't an understatement when Holly said there's so many Harry Potter socks. So they also have, for £7, four Harry Potter tea towels. I don't know if I'm just cynical or what, but £3 for a pom-pom with a bit of gold metal on it doesn't really seem that good a deal. It's a Harry Potter one, but come here, they've got ponchos, you can get Gryffindor ones. Let me just show you the image. It's like the uniform. And these are £15 as you can see, and they also have these Ravenclaw ones. So if I just show you that there. Not sure if they have Slytherin or not, we haven't seen them yet. And I haven't seen any Hufflepuff either. But I'll let you know if we do. Last but not least, you can buy yourself a Slytherin or a Hufflepuff jumper. Got loads of them. So Holly just told me that this is the exclusive London merchandise. And Paddington they... Bear, Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse is over here, come Hello. and have a look. Oh, the Minnie Mouse. Oh, look at this, look at this beefy. There she is. Oh, a little beefier. And then across here, look at this, it's like a gift oh. set. There's nothing in this though. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, it's a pyjama set which says London. And £12, I mean, that's a really good gift. But why am a crappy old t-shirt? I'm fine, Yeah, look, got Mickey stuff up there as well. Oh, wow, that's a glittery Mickey. That is a glittery Mickey. That's like really, like, not that lot of weight, but it'd be more weight. Oh, they're Disney passes. Oh, here we go, Disney. <laughs> this could be more upstairs, I know. I've already bought so much. There's a whole bag full of I haven't yeah. even got round, like, the first... Corner. <laughs> yeah, of, the sh of a, how many floors have you got? Four, isn't it? Four or five. Oh, wish us luck. Pray for my bank balance. <laughs> Look how cute this is. It's like a little case and inside it is a makeup bag, Minnie Mouse, and it's only £10. Oh, look at the bow. There's actually two makeup bags in here. So you've got this one here, and then one which says Minnie on it. I'm guessing that must be popular because it's the only one left in the store. I kind of want it, but I mean, this would be ideal for my makeup. 
This would be so good for my makeup. I don't know how many makeup bags you constantly buy saying, oh, this would be, you know, this would be ideal. Oh, you no, just buy more makeup and then you need a bigger bag. I just put it in the trolley and then decide later because it's the last one. All right. Right. <laughs> in it goes. Get it in there. If you like Beauty and the Beast, you have to come to Primark. Look, this is a Cogsworth a bubble bar. It's five pound and look, this little bug works. And they also have this magic face cloth, which is chip and loads more stuff. Check out this. So you've got these bath bombs. I think this is bath confetti. Wow, look yep. at all this. Wow. Here we go. We're in the makeup section now and they have rainbow highlighter. Look how stunning this is. And it's three pound. They also have a silicone beauty blenders if Callum goes here. They're one pound each. This is a unicorn. They also have a mermaid, one pound each. These, um, so you get double pack for two pounds. So you might as well just have a fancy one with a unicorn on. And they also got the silicone ones, what I like her beauty blender. You know, like the foam real technique one, and these are two pounds. They have Christmas jumpers in here already. You've got this penguin one for twelve pounds, and also for twelve pounds, you've got this pink pastel pink um, hedgehog one. Oh my gosh! Look at this Beauty and the Beast jumper, and it's fourteen pounds. That's incredible. I'm loving it, and it's probably going to be even more upstairs. But I'm just like, this is my playground. This, this and Disneyland and Disney World. Just a chip off the old block. Eight pounds is incredible for a jumper, and they also have a T-shirt over here. Sometimes the best teacup is chipped. How much does that one hold? Do we know? That one, I reckon, is about six. Yeah, see, I go Primark prices. I do. <gasps> look, socks. Oh, look how lovely these are. Look, it's got Mrs. Potts, oh. Chip, and Lumiere. And these are £3.50. That is just such a lovely gift. That is lovely. But they're still socks, though. Look, <laughs> the only thing is, like, these are glittery here, and they're very itchy, and autism itchy. I can't put up with that. Can't. Someone else was telling me like some of the Primark clothing is really itchy and um, for an Asperger sufferer. Nah. Wouldn't this be ideal like if you go to Disney World just to like carry this? It's £9. You don't carry your own bag anyway. I just got it in my head that I really want to go to Disney World but it's just not possible with my medical conditions. But I could go to Paris. Yeah, but you'd look super cool in this and it doesn't look so much like a woman's bag. Guys, like... that is clearly a woman's bag. Yeah, but if you're in Disney... That is clearly matter. a woman's bag. If you're in Disney, it doesn't matter. And look at the... Oh, it's not on this one. This one here. Look. Got a little keychain. I love it. Are you seeing this, though? Holds the um, Disney sort of denim jacket. Could it just be like a drug bag? Hello, thing? folks. A prescription <laughs> drug bag. Oh, boy. That's really cool. And that is £25 for a denim jacket. I really want it. This pyjama bit is exactly where Holly is happiest. <laughs> Look how cute. Snacks and catnaps. And I've got the bottoms already. So that could just go on the top. I'm going to see where it is though. They've got Aladdin pyjamas here and they're only £6. And it's so rare that you find Aladdin stuff. And down here they have Disney Princess pyjamas, which say home. That's so good for someone who works at Disney on the cultural representative program. Like Ellie Stedman, watch her vlog. She's awesome. I'll leave a link to her channel below. This is a pyjama and sock set and it's £13. And it would make an adorable gift. But look at the box. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but... That is... Oh, it's like so high quality. And it's Chip. As well as Chip, they have Bambi. Well, Thumper from Bambi. And I think you guys already know this, but they do also have the Harry Potter sets as well. They have unicorn onesies for £8. You have this design. 
and you also have this one and then if I move across they have a chip one but this one is £10 and they also have a bumper one Another Aladdin item, this is a night dress and it's only £5. They also have bumper and if I move across here, this I think is Miffy. And look at the Harry Potter, can you just pick the Harry Potter one up for me, Cal? Yeah, it's folded. Oh, here we go. You're the only one in Primark who like, folds up like a member of staff. That is exactly why you got asked if you were a staff member last time we were in Primark. See, look at that, look. Right, now can you just... <laughs> I've got to do the same for this. Yeah. Okay, look at that. Stunning. That is stunning. And they've got another one. But I'm can... pulling them all out. <laughs> just pull that one out and you can fold it up afterwards. Uh, this one... Yeah, that one. And this is the other design. Yeah, it looks sexy. Turn it around. Stripey. Is that one £5 too? Uh, yep, £5. Bargain. Even more Beauty and the Beast stuff. You have socks with chip on. And then moving across here, you've got these pyjama pants. And this top. They also have these pyjama bottoms. And here, they've got like a hoodie type pyjama top. And this is £10, as you can see. Bell is here. Oh, even more, even more. So you've got this like um, crop top and these little shorts. And down here, you've got a, a bonjour Beauty and the Beast pajama top. Oh, I found a pushy and I found a. How did I not see that? I found it. Have you got them? Um, what size? They're the size four. Yeah. Extra small, yeah. I've already looked because I was like, oh no, I really want them, yeah, but they don't have my size. But they have my size in this one. They do. And they have a medium. Oh, but I kind of want a large because they shrink in a wash. But then you got a medium, so I'm going to have to lump it. If you love JoJo products, they have so many in here. They have all the beauty products, which I've shown in a previous vlog. They also have these dance t shirts. And they have these leggings. This is so cool if you've got a child who. Yeah, they are actually the material for like dancewear also have this um, sleeveless jumper and I don't know if it's, this is part of the range either oh yes it is look so they've got well I don't think the jumper is is the jumper one no that's just a standard Primark jumper but they have these and um, these are Jojo um, pants well pants I'm not American like leggings and respect the bow so good we don't have a little boy yeah, look at this ninja turtles thing. three Isn't... different bands plus the fourth one on top so you can pick which turtle you want to be awesome and it's a onesie how much is that this is 11 pounds that's quite really good you could just use that to like dress up couldn't you yeah. you know if they just want to go to a fancy dress party totally so they have disney dolls in here and they're nine pound fifty each they have Ariel, they also have Snow White, Cinderella and Belle. They have a Batman range in here and they got older children but look at this. Holy How man, cute. Look at this, even a Batman with a little coat. I mean, what, that is proper gangster stuff for look here. That is awesome. Awesome. So we're at the homeware. We need a poo. Anne's got, and and got some cushions there. I'm desperately looking for Pusheen, but I, see I can't see it. Guys, there's no Pusheen. <laughs> All this way. I don't even have it. What's going on? No. That if sucks. If anybody's got the Pusheen duvets in their store, I'll happily pay extra if you can get me like the bigger size they have. Is that a Pusheen tumbler thing there? Yes, I need it. <laughs> I need it. Ah, the cushions. <laughs> I've got the cushions. Someone ain't got a tag on it. I found one, Holes. Found one. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Please be. It's going to be a single. It's going to be a single, isn't it? It's a single. Well, we, we have got all oh, round the side. There. There they are. Ta-da! Sorry, sir. Yeah. I always run into someone. Pushing. 
Single, 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 single. <laughs> yeah. You happy now? Can we go now? I kind of want to get two because I want double beds. How much? I thought you were going to say two of them blanket things. The cushion is six pounds and the duvet is twenty. You can have one on each side. I'm happy now. Is it? Can we go home now? Well, not home. Can we go? Can we leave now? No. <laughs> <laughs> After all that, I still can't leave. Look at me, I've got the cushion, I'm struggling. Every day she's struggling. Oh, I'm bloody struggling. I'm still hungry. Check these out. I mean, I'm not a fan of Christmas, but they are funky fresh. Giant Mickey ear baubles. Got a the size of them. They also have little ones here, that. And I don't celebrate Halloween, but I'm guessing they're Halloween kind of themed. Not really done because they're Christmas decorations, are they? No, they're Halloween. I actually want those so badly. Joey showed me those and I was like, I need. So this is a gumball machine, Christmas decoration for £4. What else do they have? They've got uh, popcorn. Popcorn. Got, uh, a little sort of Martini champagne. Well, a cocktail. Thing, cocktail. Well, that's the word. Yeah, that's the that. one. Um, yeah, Let's see what else it. they have. But look at these. Hold on, I'll just grab them. These are Harry Potter mm. Christmas decorations. And they got one for each house. Well, I think it's each house. I haven't watched Harry Potter, but. There are four houses, yeah. Okay. Callum just said, I so need one of these on my blog. The thing is, we'll probably get out to take 40 or take 50. I know, I take ages. Especially what with sit-down videos, I'm a nightmare. How much is that? Light box. £12. They also have other ones here. And then they have some rose gold, like, household. Like, these are the, you know, display lights. I don't yeah. know. I'm and a hanging glass heart light, which is also rose gold. Callum's just found a Harry Potter pen. One. How much is that? I don't know, 150 Is that all? It's a big old pen as well. Put it in the basket, that's so cool. I'm at the stationery section in Primark now, and they have this Pug Life hardback notebook, but the one I'm interested in is Pusheen. And yes, I went straight in my basket. Are there are the pages actually Pusheen on them? Oh my, I might have to get two because I can like use that for writing paper. Oh, and look, look at this unicorn one. How much are these? They're over there, Cal. This really cute, fluffy unicorn. And these are cunicorn. Three pounds for that. So I'm guessing these ones are two pounds. Be well. careful, Cal, because that's gonna. Four pound. I know. I'm, I'm that's gonna. They've got this got gingerbread. Got it. Yeah, got a gingerbread diffuser. I'll show it here for three pound. Just how cute does that look? But yeah, I think. Time to leave. Yes, because we're now going to have to remortgage the house. Yeah. <laughs> so last minute we've decided we want to go and see Aladdin again. Hopefully they've got tickets, but we haven't got time to go back to the hotel and I'm not sure they're going to let us take it into the theatre. But I've got to get my Disney magic and this time I'm getting a picture with Aladdin. This time I'm getting a video with Aladdin too. Yeah, finally. <laughs> I wish we could film that one song. Uh, so you can watch it on YouTube. We'll leave a link. We'll leave a link. It's good. It's so good, but you've got to watch it live because it doesn't do justice. It's so good. So good. Mm. You finally got your, your moment with the lamp. I'm not, not the picture. I just said, you said film it. Look how good our seats are. Callum might have a hard time seeing, but. It's always a problem when you don't get the seats with like the space in front of. How much to me? I showed them. I have waited at stage door for about 
how many years? Last, last, time, oh, last time we did it was with Darren Brown, weren't it? No legal ones. No legal ones, yeah, with uh, Sharon Smith. She smells really good. Yeah, and what was that? Um, about oh, medium weird. I haven't had a beer, yeah, you are weird. That's uh, Trevor, finally! <laughs> <laughs> God, that's weird, isn't it? Like, actually seeing it without the, um, right. the makeup and stuff. I hate going up to people. Oh, you've got a thingy to. <laughs> Such an awesome dude. Check out his shoes, they are awesome. <laughs> they are way cool. I'm filming, draw a picture so I can take one. All right. We're at the hotel now. We actually didn't check in until really late because we went to Aladdin. So what's the time? Must be nearly 11. Tiny parts 11. And the guy was like, um, like tapping on the computer for a long time. And then he gave us a room key. He said, I had to upgrade you because they didn't have any rooms left. So we're in a tower wing. If we have got a suite I'll be happy but I'm guessing it's just like one upgrade from the normal room which is quite nice in itself I was just looking forward to a normal room but we're getting an upgrade and you're gonna see it with us so yeah oh dear <sighs> so here we are room 457 oh you're opening the door don't tell me it's not gonna go <sighs> thank goodness yes Oh, they said upgraded, but it just looks like a standard room to me. Can you put the lights on? Oh. How is this different to a normal room? Oh, it's, it's got like... I'm guessing you don't have these. So you want like chill out. Or you, you, do you know what would be really funny? If you hide from the maid and then you just jump out and go, rah, got you. I'm such a, a baby. You do that in a hill, really? You do that in a travel lodge, not a hill. Lodge. You don't get that kind of space in a travel lodge. Well, if that's the upgrade in a room. Hold on, hold on. we've not tested the bed yet, should do it. I've no then. idea what it's going to be like. Look, you can see it's fresh. I prefer I might like. give myself a concussion here. Ready? One, two. Don't. Two. Oh, gosh, that. Oh, <laughs> that's bouncy. Oh. oh, maybe you get a chair in the upgraded room. You don't oh, normally nice. get that. Maybe it's the decor is different. <laughs> Don't! By something else, yes, Pop Tarts. Callum's actually filming in the. Callum's filming in. Uh. I'm trying to fill in <laughs> what you missed out the breakfast menu. That's what I'm doing. Normally, you, I take everything. Right, Freaking melon! I don't eat melon, she doesn't eat melon. I'm gonna I'll try it tomorrow. Fruit yogurt, low fat. What do I want low fat yogurt? I don't want low fat yogurt, I want full fat yogurt. Right? <laughs> and she, she didn't take muffins either. <laughs> You're done alright with that orange and apple, that's fine. Grapefruit, <laughs> I would have kicked you out. <laughs> Why'd you put vegetarian sauce as well as pork? No, because I want pork and vegetarian. I, I think they do Linda McCartney ones here. If not, they're corn. That's <laughs> yeah. Get your money to buy up to get everything. No, don't, don't. That's a bit on the tray. No, oh dear. I just, I, honestly, I want to cross out low fat and well, cross out the low, just put fat yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna put, I, I, I like to put Pop Tarts. Why is there something else you just ask? Yeah, it's, it's just ask. I want Pop Tarts for breakfast. <laughs> no, the, if they did that, that's worth a tip. <laughs> Pop Tarts on no tip. <laughs> Don't look at this. We I'm going to say to freaking eat. Um, yeah. Well, I don't know. Well, that says in the little book that there's a room oh, set. Oh, Pass oh, me oh. the thing where it says the room service menu will be in your room, and they do don't have one. <laughs> Guys, I think it's time for a new car. We broke down again on the way back from London. Um, obviously, last time you saw it. We were towed back by the AA and they said it's fault P1166 which turns out it's a fuel filter issue We've had that replaced And we're in the middle of nowhere On the A11 <laughs> We're stuck Hopefully the car gets up and running again
what do I say? What do I do? <sighs> Just not our luck, is it? Thank you for watching Hollywood Vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs>